Hello. you all. I hope you all are amazing. Yay. I'm just so excited to be back, you know, to be honest with you. I've heard my previous video, I've been away for a minute because I've been ill. So I'm just super to be excited to be filming again. Oh, I just feel like I'm back in my element. You know, being off was just like, oh, I feel like my, 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 my whole life was just, you know, dragging by and I wasn't able to kind of do things I truly, truly enjoy. And even just being at work. But I'm just happy to be back filming, guys. So, anyways. Remember to follow me on Instagram, remember to follow me on Snapchat, remember to subscribe to my channel guys, it's so important, click that subscribe button below, we gotta get it up and up and up, I will be releasing videos after videos because I'm just super duper excited to be back, as you can tell from my energy, but anyways guys, this video is gonna be about how I maintain my short hair, this was something that was actually requested by one of my followers, and to kind of talk about how I maintain my short hair because I get loads of compliments about my hair all the time, but oh my god your hair is so nice, like what do you do and who's your hairstylist and you know where do you go kind of thing, and I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I have an amazing routine guys, because I don't, I will not lie to you, I really really don't have an amazing routine, I do my hair once a month to be, to be honest with you, and in the four weeks in the month, my hair only looks good for one. I will not lie to you guys. I'm super duper lazy when it comes to my hair. I'd rather just go to my hairdresser and get them to do everything. And to be honest with you, I probably would do my hair more than once a month. I'd probably do it twice a month. But my hairdresser, he is just so, it's, it's so difficult to get appointments with him. Because he's just, he's, he's super duper popular when it comes to short hair. And I'm that kind of person, I don't tend to book in advance. I'm always quite last minute. Um, it's just because that's what I've been used to. So getting to like getting appointments with him sometimes can be a bit of a nightmare but i did find an alternative and it's always always good to have like a backup hairdresser trust me and she is super super duper good and like, she's really really good with short hair i love the way she done my hair last time i went to her so i'll just be alternate um, you know alternating between the two of them but guys i don't have a particular routine um, as explained um, my hair is just a mess after the first week of it being done and that's mainly down to laziness to be honest with you i just can't be bothered to do anything by myself i've often just go to the hairdressers and get them to do everything for me because it always comes out better. Um, yes, I definitely do need to start looking after my hair and taking it a bit more serious, but I don't know. I think it's because I work, you know, Monday to Friday, 9 to 5. I just don't care. I can't be bothered. I will just roll out. And that is not the attitude to have, to be honest with you, because sometimes I get cussed at work by my manager and by some of my colleagues that will be seriously, like, can you make more of a bloody effort when you come in? Because I really just don't give a shit. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I literally sometimes I just roll out and I'm like, yep, I'm going to work. You know? Because I just can't be bothered. It's too much energy. I wake up too early to do all of this. I ain't got time for that. I don't work in fashion. I work in banking for God's sake. So it doesn't really matter. But I did say to myself, in this 2017, I am gonna make more of an effort. I'm gonna take it a lot more serious, you know. It's not, you know, I can't <laughs> look so dreadful when I go to work. You know, but I, I generally do like being in my natural state anyways. I don't feel like I always want to be dressed up, but I definitely feel my hair should be intact. I don't need to wear makeup, but my hair definitely has to be on point. So, enough of the waffle. These are the products I use for my short hair, guys. And to be honest with you, um, it, it's, it's such a simple like routine and if like if I stick to it I wouldn't even have to go to my hairdressers that often because you literally you just stick to this routine and go to the barbers get them to shape up the sides and the back and you're good to go and what it's cheaper you're saving money because what barbers only gonna charge you about eight pounds for a shape up but anyways once I relax or wash my hair I always always use this brand this hair mayonnaise I think I showed this in one of my my previous videos when I talked about my hair care um it's really really good it makes it so 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 soft um, before you wrap your hair, trust me, because there's nothing worse than your hair's a bit hard and you're wrapping it and you, it's, it's more painful. So it's always really good to use like hair mayonnaise and this is the brand too. I will put everything in the description bar below, but it's absolutely amazing guys, trust me, it really makes the hair super duper soft. Um, when I finish using that, I tend to use um, this brand, this wrap and lotion brand, which I think is probably one of the best. I know in the hairdressers, they tend to use something else actually remember to be honest with you but I feel like um, this is a really good brand you can buy from one of the high street hair stores and um, it's really 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 good and I also mix that with you know um, the Care Care um, hair polisher or hair serum or whatever it is anyways I mix these two together and I rub them in because if you just use this by itself it can be a little bit too um, a little bit too stiff um, and once it's dry and you're combing it out it's just a bit too like bristly and I just don't like that effect so when I mix it with this it makes it really really soft and sleek so when you comb it out it kind of combs out in a nice sleek soft way this is amazing trust me this is 
water. This is heaven for short hair. I'm not lying, guys. Like this is this is a drug for short hair. You need this product in your life if you have short hair. Trust me, it makes a massive, 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 massive difference to how your hair looks. It adds, adds the way it just shines on it. Trust me, it's like you got a halo around your head. The way it just shines on your hair. So trust me, guys. I definitely would encourage um, anyone with short hair to purchase um, this, which I'll put in the description bar below. And again, um, carry care, um, um, what's this called? Um, edge control. Trust me, guys, I think I've mentioned this before as well. It's really, really, really good for short hair, especially when we have like you know our hair flat like this and you just want to kind of layer your edges. It's so, 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 so good. Um, another thing is um, this comb. This is my go-to comb. I love this comb when I'm wrapping my hair. I tend to not use the short the short comb with the, with the little um, stick at the end because I don't know, I feel like it's just a bit too small and because my hair is so thick, I just rather use something like this. Um, I, I think it's absolutely amazing. I use this to wrap my hair so I literally would just kind of comb it around here, comb it and sometimes do a little bit of a wave because I don't like it fully straight so sometimes just do a little bit of a wave and kind of just, you know, use a silk satin scarf because you if you have short hair, you know you must have a silk satin scarf. It's not gonna work if you don't have one. I think I've got about six of these. I'm always misplacing them. Trust me, it's really important. And once you, you know, wrap your hair, you wrap it in one of these. Trust me, guys, this is a must. This is needed. Also, what I was in, um, encouraged or advised to um, purchase was one of those um, dryer things. Like, you plug your hair dryer into, like, the, the, the little pipe part and you kind of sit it on your head. It's kind of like a... a, a, a a, a home a home hair dryer you know and it, it's really really good i've been told you know because I, I naturally just i usually just wrap my hair and let it dry i usually just wrap my hair and um, cover it with my scarf and let it dry naturally however it, it, i think it would be really really good to purchase one of those dryers because it's as if you're in the hairdressers again and once the hairdresser puts you under that dryer when you have short hair when you come up the hair always tends to be very 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 sleek so i definitely would encourage um anyone that has short hair to purchase those so as again i'm not gonna lie to you guys and pretend like i've got a really sick routine i don't i don't have a routine i kind of just go with the flow and just wait on my hairdressers um, i tend to be a bit lazy and not be bothered to do my hair by myself which is changing to be honest you've got these are the products i do use like this is what i used in my hair this time round, and that's why it's kind of looking like really nice and neat um forgive it because probably going to be a mess again to be honest with you but yeah um so yeah um the, i will put all the descriptions below the prices of these this one is four pounds um this one was a little bit expensive this is eight pounds for this tiny little bottle to be honest with you it is a little bit expensive but carry care tends to be expensive because they're even the bloody um the edge controls like 12 pound or 10 pounds but it's worth it to be honest with you it really is worth it because it does a great job and this is five pounds so in total you're probably gonna spend about 20 something pounds but trust me all these products are worth it when you have short hair um so yeah this is just a quick video guys remember to follow me on instagram remember to follow me on snapchat subscribe to my channel guys click that subscribe button and yeah till next time bye